Hello, today I'm going to show you how WorkSoft Certify is able to extend its friendly capture and execution of end-to-end -end business processes to mobile test automation so that you're able to get better coverage for your complex business processes. Here we can see that WorkSoft provides the ability to connect to mobile devices in a number of interesting ways with our third generation of mobile automation that has grown over time with Keynote Perfecto and now our latest partner Experitest we're able to specifically with Experitest connect to on-premise devices even mobile devices plugged directly into our laptop as tethered uh, applications that we would normally use for manual testing we can now automate those at our desk we can also put those in the device lab uh, in our corporate network and manage those in our device center without having direct access to them but still control them through our browser or through uh, a window into those applications on our desktop. And lastly, we're able to go to the cloud with our partners. They have rich uh, device banks of hundreds of devices and varieties that we're able to connect to. And any hybrid of these solutions is provided since you simply make a connection setting change in WorkSoft Certified to connect to any of the device options that I just talked about. Here's an example where in the demo today, I'm going to show you WorkSoft Certified just running on my own laptop, connecting to a bank of devices in uh, our WorkSoft data center. It's just a small laptop that's got four devices plugged into the USB ports. And these are two iOS and two Android devices, um, two phones, and two tablets. And the great thing is you can mix and match. You can have these clients on-prem or in the cloud, and you can have these mobile devices on-prem or in the cloud or even at your desk. I'll go through the benefits at the end of the session. Let me start by showing you the ability to be able to connect to these devices. There's a device bank that allows us to be able to see the applications and see which ones are in use and which ones are available to be tested with. We can see this in a rich way through the, um, through the dashboard that's provided um, by our mobile partner. This allows us to be able to manage the devices and the applications that we want to roll out to those devices, the versions and the operating systems so that we have complete control over what is running on which devices and who has access uh, individual or group-wise to those applications and devices. Let me give you an example of connecting to those. Here we have uh, our application connector which allows us to be able to see the rich set of devices in our device bank and be able to connect to those directly. For this example I'm going to show you that we can go through and actually connect to those devices using a small um, set of processes that I captured earlier. Here we're going to connect, open, and log into the application, make and send a payment, log out, close, and then disconnect from the application. So with a simple set of uh, test steps, we're able to carry out and automate uh, a single uh, set of tests across a number of devices. We do this through our simple record set concept, which allows us to be able to have a layout with some details about the different devices we want to connect to and provide the device IDs which are the unique numbers we use to access those devices and therefore we can have a single set of test steps that is able to carry out automation across iOS and Android devices without having to maintain different test scripts for different operating systems. This is very powerful since most vendors are not able to provide this capability very easily. I'll go ahead and start the test up run this. I'll make sure that the size is a little bit bigger so you can see what's happening. And as it runs here, you're going to see that we're able to simply start with the first device in our record set list, which was an iPhone. It'll simply go through, launch that iPhone, and then start the process of carrying out the test automation steps that I've captured before. As I get to specific device steps here, for iOS, it's going to type in $50 that's going to be sent. You'll see how this may differ depending on the device that you're on. Now we're going and connecting to the next device in the list. In this case, it's a LGE Nexus 
phone form factor device, an Android device. Again, with those same test steps, we can now carry out executing automated testing for the version of the AirBank app built for the iOS device, for the Android devices using Java. So even though these objects may have different names, we're able to still click on the same buttons and when we get to things like this slider control, instead of typing in $50, we'll actually slide over to 50 using these test steps where we can verify which version of the device and either type or slide the appropriate amount. So this allows us to be able to get uh, great scaling in our maintenance of our tests. And then of course this will continue to execute as we connect to the last two devices in our device bank, specifically an iPad and a Galaxy Tab. And these are again just iOS and Android devices, so the same process will still be able to be carried out since it's the same operating system as you saw, just a larger form factor. So as this finishes out, I'll go ahead and summarize some of the benefits uh, that you've noticed here in the test today. Ease of use. We have the ability to be able to make it easy for you to capture touch specific controls and learn an application and then be able to carry that out in a no-code way free from doing any custom coding or scripting. This makes it easy to maintain the test because you're able to read those test steps and maintain those. You can also support connecting to multiple devices and even different browsers. So we support native, hybrid, and web applications that uh, are tested. We also support iOS and Android and we allow you to make it easy to integrate with different partners such as Keynote Perfecto and Xperia Test Solutions. And especially with our third generation uh, capability in mobile with Xperia Test, we're able to now support local tethered devices that you may already have at your desk that you can plug in and test immediately. You can also scale this to a large number of devices running in your data center or even in the cloud with our partners so that you can spin up virtual machines or physical machines running certify tens or even hundreds of those machines and those can connect to tens or hundreds of mobile devices that might be running in your data center or might be running in one or more cloud environments in the partner space. Thank you.